Mango, well, never mind. I think we're getting into it. All right, here we yeah. are. Grand Finals. Armada versus Hungrybox. This is the winner's finals match that we saw before. Now yep. uh, in Yeah. The same matchup, and Armada, pretty dominant performance versus Hungrybox. Uh, I believe it was a 3-0. Right? I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it was 3-0. I feel, I feel 3-0-ish in my brain. Yeah. Wow. That was actually really clutch. Um, just to call it out, I mean, Hungrybox dash tech Armada shield, super deeply spaced it, so he went through him. Armada had the presence of mind to drop shield, turn around, and then do the grab instead of doing the traditional shield grab, which I think would have whiffed. Yeah. And punishing stuff like that is just so, so, so important, especially when grab... Oh, my gosh. Especially when grab converts into so much damage. Yeah. And I just, oh, my gosh, because Shine... <laughs> Trading or clanking with Jigglypuff's up smash. Uh, yeah. That must hurt so much for uh, for Hungrybox. It's just like one frame that Shine is invincible, but like every once in a while, <laughs> right? Kind of Fox and Falco, they kind of get away with murder. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very, very rare do people legitimately say, I'm going to throw this Shine out and abuse the fact that it is invincible. It's actually, you know, people talk about the invincibility of Shine a lot. It's only invincible for one frame. So that's not actually usually the intent. Usually the intent is you're trying to hit them. Yeah, but uh, and, yeah, uh, sometimes that happens. Yeah. So what I what I would love uh, for the the good the good people to do is remember how Mewtwo King was playing versus Hungry Box, mostly at the ledge, right, shooting lasers, and in general, very much in his shield. Just watch watch Armada, uh, watch where he usually is. What I'm seeing is that he's usually in the middle of the stage. Yes. And he's also using Fox's super good moves to uh, like as uh, kind of like pr proactive defense, right? He's putting yeah. those moves out, and Hungry Box is trying to challenge them, but. Uh, you know, I just saw his Nair cleanly beat Jigglypuff's approach. Yes. Look at Armada all in the middle, all over Hungrybox. And after he gets him off stage, he, you know, double jumps and shoots some lasers. Yeah, Really definitely. controlling the center of the stage. And that's that's kind of the key, right? Oh my god, that down tilt too. Run-up down tilt is it, massacring Hungrybox right now. Yeah, in terms, of, in terms of lab stuff, that is like new. I, I don't know. Armada found this crazy use for down tilt in the past couple months, I think, that no one is really on yet. Nice, nice rest doesn't mean a whole lot to Armada because... I, you know, okay. Oh. Doesn't get as much of a punish as he'd like, yeah. I think. So then, you know, Ooh. whoa, Hungry Box definitely will take that. Sadly, misses the wave line on the platform. That was potentially huge. Definitely. One thing I wanted to call out, um, you know, uh, speaking to how Armada is playing the center of the stage, you contrast, so I mean, Hungry Box is the third Fox that, that Hungry Box went through, right? He beat yeah. Mango, he beat Mute King. And I think Mango, Armada. you know, Mango, Mango, when he's fighting uh, Fox versus Jigglypuff, right? He's going all the way in. Right. He's going all the way to the corner. Dude, I love what you're about to waiting. say. I know, right? And then Mewtwo King, he's going all the way out. He's he's backing off and shooting laters. He's, he's at the other side of the stage. And he's trying to be as far away as possible, so Hungry Box just closes in. Armada, you know, it's just right. He's, just, he's locks, right in the middle. Baby. Goldilocks, let's go. Oh, but as we say this, Hungry Box. Ooh. Okay. Turning it around. Armada was just up three stocks to one. We said, you know, up throw rest, no big deal for Armada. But, uh, you know, Hungrybox able to throw Armada off stage and get a great edge guard. And when you're a last stock, yeah. you got to be super afraid of Hungrybox. I mean, he can always do it. So already, Hungrybox is doing better than he did uh, in winner's finals. Yeah, for sure. What if Hungrybox beat all three of the best foxes in the world today? That would be, Louise. yeah, that would be a uh, super Jeez Louise type of statement. Now I tell me why not... Armada did not die. It was just the most beautiful space. So, well, uh, you know, it the, must have been. I saw, because uh, I saw, I felt like, at first, my first thought was, wow, why didn't Upper hit? Then my second <laughs> thought was, why didn't Rest hit? Yeah. And then I'm like, what? What? Yeah, what Why did happen? neither of them hit each other? I don't know. I guess miss space. My guess is that, yeah, Up Air was like spaced outside. Uh, outside of the rest tick box. And it's possible that Armada lab that, to be honest. Like, that's a very common thing with Falcon versus Puff, down throw knee. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can just space knee such that, like, the knee hitbox connects, but your actual hurt box doesn't. Right. Uh, it doesn't overlap with rest. Yeah. Uh, now that we have 20XX as a tool, <laughs> I hope that Armada did not lab that and did not figure that out. But uh, if he did, he's truly a monster. Yeah. Also, uh, Hungrybox definitely uh, <laughs> Leaned back in his chair as he got hit by that up smash. It hit Jimmy Puff so hard yeah. <laughs> that Hungrybox himself, you know, was thrown backwards. Definitely. Okay, you also don't expect a combo into up smash oh, at yeah. 100. Yeah. That like never happens. Oh, usually, yeah. usually Puff is long out of there. We out. Yep. Armada's like, no. Oh. Ah, nice DI from Armada on the up air. Dude, it's so funny. I feel like at this point, when Hungrybox up throws that way, so basically the way that teching works and oh, oh my god. The fourth leg of the journey. How does he get the fourth? I was going to say, uh, usually it's three. I ah. don't know how you get the fourth. It's like forbidden tech. Yep. 
forbidden knowledge that Prince Abu <laughs> has not figured out yet. Definitely a, yeah, extra... <laughs> An Easter egg or something, Easter, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's like the extended grapple from Samus. It's like one of those things that I've only ever seen our uh, Hungry Box Hungry do. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yep, good smash DI. That was a funny sentence because you made it sound like the extender from Samus is one of these things you've only seen Hungry Box do. Yep. Yep. Hungry Box, the Samus master. If you heard it that way, then uh, I believe it. Right. Nice grab. Okay. <laughs> Hungry Box definitely Hungry. tap dancing as yeah, he gets the smash DI, but... Mario Kart DI, baby. Right? Whatever works, man. That Smash DI is so critical for Hungry Box to actually win. Yep. So I mean, he, whatever he has to do to make it happen. Yeah, man. And by the way, phenomenal spacing by Hungry Box. He just did a baby wave dash back, out spacing Armada's approach. Got that grab, and <laughs> after the throw, he's done. It's done. Mm -hmm. So wow, uh, wow. Hungry Box is like oh, is super. Oh, mate, no, he's Mario Kart DIing the hardest I've ever seen. He literally, oh, looked yeah, like, yeah, yeah. literally looked like a NASCAR driver. He was like getting thrown <laughs> to one side. Uh, shout outs wow. to shout outs to my dad who I would play Mario Kart with him as a kid and full body DI. I, I definitely would criticize my dad for saying, Dad, I, I don't think Nintendo has the technology to where <laughs> you swing your body and it has any influence on uh how how hard you can turn, but Ooh. Wow, Ooh. baited out so hard. But he's living! Wow. Just barely. Mm -hmm. One I feel like one up tilt, absolutely an up smash. Uh, also another oh my god. <laughs> another pummel might have done it. Yeah. So Ooh. Oh my! Yup, yeah, yep. yeah, you gotta know. You have to know. You have, you to, have know. to know. You saw it. I think if, 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 if my eyes did not deceive me, you saw Hbox go a little bit to the left. I think trying he, to get the reverse. He really wanted to get on the yeah. other side, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, good effort. Yeah. I don't know if it was the right thing to do, you know what I mean? Like, all things considered, could he have outplayed him one or two more times? I honestly don't know, uh, but. In any case, you know, Hungrybox doing a, doing great work against Armada, really showing uh, this is this that is a he's much learned, better. yeah, from yes. Winners Finals. Much better said than much better said than Winners Finals. He's actually fighting him the whole time, which yeah. is, uh, I think definitely helped. Well, him. yeah, but I think that he definitely got that beaten out of him. Like seriously, if the Hungrybox goes to the ledge, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm I really shocked. question his uh, his analytical abilities. Yeah. But I think that he is able to recognize when something's not working, and I think that he's probably abandoned that plan for Armada. I think so, yeah. Versus Mango. Well, let's hope so for Hungrybox's sake. Right. That he's not going to go to the ledge again. Because the only person that that's actually hurting is himself. Yes. Oh! Wow. Yeah, that was like a phantom hit uh, from Puff. Order. Yeah, it didn't seem to matter too much. Yeah. Well, because it should have traded, but wow. Okay. Back throw. Uh, fun fact. Back throw, if they DI all the way in, uh, back throw can comp one up there. It actually looks like a altered version of the up throw up there sequence. That's jabbed up there. That is super, uh, you know... It's almost guaranteed. Um, you kind of have to clutch it with the read, though, because they have to jump into it. That was Armada going for the edge cancel on the platform. <laughs> Ooh, no Lol. punish. <laughs> Raspberries. Yeah, that's the flop. Lol at the best player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that always sucks when that happens. It's like you just have so much time to get it that uh, you, you kind of freak you psych yourself you psych out. Or something. You're like, you're spending all this time hitting a you know really fast-moving opponent, and then... Finally, they're not moving at all. They're literally and, asleep. And oh can't my! Hit them? Like, what's the? <laughs> so here's. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Up there, he wanted to try to set up for another move. I think. But I just realized he couldn't get anything backed off. I just. I wonder if a couple pummels and an up throw on a back air is gonna do way more damage than like that first hit up air. Uh, I'm like really surprised that that everybody seems to be going for that. But yeah, what do I know? I think he definitely wants at least another aerial. Up air, another aerial, you're doing fine. I think. Um, Otherwise, I don't know, man. Good crouch cancel by Armada. I'm not sure what he was looking for. Like, when I say good crouch cancel, like, he was clearly trying to crouch cancel uh, whatever, you know, Hungry Rocks was going to approach with. But, like, usually afterwards you have something lined up, right? Crouch cancel down tilt, crouch cancel jab. I don't know, something. Yeah. I feel like if you're just crouch canceling for its own sake, then, you know, you're kind of just taking damage for no reason. So That's I wonder right. if that was a flub or if you just kind of... Maybe he was looking for something specific and Hungrybox, like, didn't give it to him? Yeah. That was another instance of exactly that, by the way. He went for the jab and went for the same up air read on the, on the jump, and you saw Hungrybox just float to the ground. He's like, all right, I'm not jumping this time. And, yeah. You know. Great and, uh, survivability right now from yeah, Hungrybox. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. This is how the matchup needs to be played, I think. Especially on this stage. You take what you can get. That was a I think solid he did too many back airs. Hungrybox spent too many of his jumps. I think he just couldn't have gotten away at that point. Yeah. And, you know, Armada was just like, man, I'm just going to kick this guy. He can't. He lost all his mobility, right? He doesn't have any, like, vertical... Oh, 
definitely lost his mobility. And I also think that, um, you know, when I'm fighting Jigglypuff, I like to look out for how many jumps she has left because, you know, every time she uses one of her aerial jumps, the, st the probability of her having to come back to the ground becomes greater and greater. Yeah. So at first it's, you know, one-fifth and one-fourth and one-third. So as he uses more and more of his jumps, I'm thinking, okay, now might be my chance to go in because yeah. usually that's when you catch Jigglypuff is on the way down. As, yeah. um, as any of the other top tiers, because, you know, the other top tiers, uh, or really the other characters in the game, almost everybody is more ground-oriented than, uh, than Jigglypuff is. He's a very air-oriented air uh, character. Yes. Yeah, it, so like it's uh, the way that I think about it is just wow, next to the up throw up air. You know, most traditional fighters, the, the kind of like spacing is really predominantly like left and right, kind of horizontal spacing, but you and know, so are most of the matchups in this game. Yeah, but Pup definitely uh, definitely changes that. Uh, adds the, adds the, 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 the second dimension. Yeah. Definitely adds that Y axis into the fray. Yup. Wow. wow, the burn, that hurts so much for Hungerbox. Yeah, because it's like, it's literally like such a big swing, right? Because if he guesses it right, then that's, you know, that's a stock and he's he's just chilling. Wow, and, what and, power from Puff. And even just getting hit by an up B, that does what, like 14 damage? You know, maybe 13 or 12 if the move is still, but it's a lot of damage and it hurts because Ooh. Jigglypuff percentage means so much because now that she's at 71, oh. that will KO without the, without the Smash DI. Yeah. That was excellent Smash DI, absolutely. Wow, and they're... Oh! Ooh, but Armani's gonna land. live! It's okay, not gonna get punished. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you if you live and make it and recover, or if you die off the top, uh, you know, you just don't have enough time to get the punish. Yes. It's only if you die off the side. All right. Yeah, the crowd's super divided. I like... <laughs> I hear just competing USA and uh, Armada chance. Uh... Ooh, big back air. Gets a follow up, but nothing after that. Fox too far away, and the is. dash attack. Wow. Armada getting the dash attack. Hungrybox DI'd away for dear life, but Armada right after him. Hey, can I complain for one second? Yeah, go ahead. Did you see how hard uh, Puff's forward throw hit and threw Fox? Oh, it smacks you. Oh, <clears throat> there might be a reason to that. Did you know? Well, did you know, moment? Did you know that Puff's forward throw was, I think, the if not one of two smash diable throws in the game? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. So Whoa, he might holy have, crap! He might have, uh, you know, you can di that further in or out than uh, other know, throws. Than other throws. Well, I was just about to say, can you please just give Falcon that forward throw? Why is he yeah. have such a useless forward and back throw? Yeah. Like, just give me that it's, one. It's a true tragedy. Oh, beautiful combo by Hungrybox. Oh, and Armada off the stage. Uh -huh. Hungrybox chasing him down. Yeah, yeah, he straight just ahead. gave up the ledge. I think that he just didn't feel confident with his ledge invincibility. And like, you know, as great as Puff is in the air, you know, I don't feel like she has like a super great way to refresh her invincibility. Yes, It takes is, a super long time. Definitely. So true. I feel like Hungrybox just had to make a decision. Like, am I gonna, yes. Am I gonna, uh, am I gonna hard read him going straight at me or going up? Like, cause I don't feel comfortable just staying right here. That's right. All right, Hungrybox with a slight lead. Uh, he definitely, uh, definitely started off pretty poorly, but is able to survive. You were talking about his survive. Wow! <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. His survivability, this whole set has been amazing. Yes. Great follow up. Mm. Oh my word! That was that was good. And that this is good. a stock that he was going to lose anyway, right? Mm. At 168. Yes, you definitely are going to go for that rest. Oh, absolutely. You do the math. Not much math to do. Yeah. That stock's just way less valuable than one at like, you know, 45 and when he when he's usually uh, getting the rest. Yeah. A stock, you know, stock count is one thing, but you know, a, a stock at a high percent usually what what people will do is, you know, you you afford more risks if you're at a higher percent because you know that that stock is that much closer to being taken. Hbox all the way out of there. Definitely yeah. doesn't want to eat that up there. Yeah. And it's so so uh, like scary. He just went for a down air, but like it, it didn't feel like the usual down airs that he goes for. And you know, Armada had an up tilt out, and that's just not not a great. Oh, oh, hungry box with three back airs in a row. He's doing the little uh, the Tiger Woods. Yep. This is Tiger Woods, y'all. Tiger Woods, y'all. Tiger, 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 Tiger Woods, y'all. I literally don't know what that is, but uh, I know it's from something. Uh huh. 
I, I, I've both Hungry never box. heard it and, no, and do not know what it's from. So Yeah, but did you like it? I enjoyed it heavily. Ooh, jab up air. So, all right, 2-1. This is a tournament game for Armada. Uh, if Armada is able to win this game, he's the, he is the champion. But Hungrybox looking to take it to a fifth game. This is definitely doable for Armada, though. Cannot uh, cannot feel comfortable yet as Hungrybox. Yeah, runaway tech on some damage. That's oh. fine. Good tech away by Armada. Yo. Absolutely. Oh, Ooh. what an what a find with that up air, just falling up air from Puff. Yeah, that is a read of the jump. Honestly, every, like every time. maybe the first time that I really feel like. Uh, Hungrybox is just reading Armada's movement. Like he's just beating him at neutral. That's he's making better calls. That's that's yeah, that's that's definitely this matchup. There's a lot of moments where Fox has to make a call on Puff's movement or Puff has to make a call on Fox's movement. It's just too hard for these two characters to react to each other in a lot of common situations. What a uh, punish, by the way, on Fox's up smash. Ooh, and of course ooh. Whoa! That was a big, big, big uh, uh flub. flub. Let's see if Hungrybox can keep it together. Oh no! That was a nice angle. Nice, nice angle. Wow. The reverse hit on the Nair, and Armada questionably goes for the stage. Yeah. Hungrybox totally gave him the ledge. That was good. Up smash? Up air, yep. <coughs> wow. So, um, okay, this is. <laughs> this is doable, but really hard. Yeah. Really, really I, hard. Doable, but really hard. Any little move. Well, yeah, that's it. There it is. Didn't get to finish my sentence. Doable, but really hard. He would have had to super duper outplay him. Because yes. any trade, right? Once you start comboing in melee, like, you know, I mean, you have your opening, right? You want to keep going for it. But, you know, if the opponent just throws out like a Nair or something and you trade, uh, that would have been it for Armada. So, yeah, anyway, I mean, here we are, game one five. Of the, one of the, you know, not, not as often talked about elements, you know, different combos work at different percents. And at low percents, which is, you know, where Hungerbox was coming down at zero, uh, you have the least hit stun. Yeah. So, something that looks like a combo sometimes isn't. They just right. barely get out. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the one, like, an, that's like a, an anti comeback factor in melee. Yeah. Low percent, just. Definitely, uh, definitely no X factor or, or rage to be found yeah. in, in this game. So, FD, traditionally a very, very difficult counter pick uh, for Puff to deal with. I. All right, living. I think this is, I, I personally think this is the best stage for this matchup. Yeah. But uh, Hungrybox has definitely beaten like he's beaten everybody here, right? So. Yes. Yes, but I think I think I also think that some of the the most uh, his nastiest you know losses you know some of his oh absolutely are yeah. all they all involve FD. Yeah, um, just getting trunched. Yeah. You know, Fox is like Lucky, um, who you know are not considered quite to be on Hungrybox's tier. Yeah. Man, he's so consistent with uh, L canceling that down air. I like the I like the movement by Hungrybox, right? The couple tomahawks just like playing with Armada, seeing what he's gonna do. But you know, in the end, Armada actually outplayed him there. Uh, yeah, and he knows and that. Wow, look at all the damage he's putting on just by dancing in and out of Hungrybox's range, shooting some lasers here and there. This is this is a stage where ooh that that soft nair hits. That's an up smash every day of the week. Wow, wow. runs in and just does it. And that's you know honestly like once you. Man, Armada's so good. Like, I feel like he's just establishing. He's saying to Hungrybox, like, dude, you know, you're gonna have to catch up to me, blah, 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 right? Yeah. And Hungrybox is like, okay, it's almost like I hear the blah, 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 and I don't care about what you're saying. I get it. You made your point. Yes. And then Armada's like, never mind. Right. Right. No, yeah, he, he's, the, he's playing the perfect balance of, you know, of Mute King and Mango, if you will. You know, he's. Yeah. Well, uh, runs away lasers, runs away lasers, runs away lasers. Well, that time he just grabbed, so that's. I don't know if that's commentator's curse, yeah. but. No, I mean, you know. He kind of did the mango he, thing, though. He, he ran knew, in and shielded, you yeah. know, to kind of try to to, 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 to to play out of the corner and go for some sort of, like, mix up type situation. Wow. Down tilt. Down tilt. The hit stun is so strong that it just feels like. Just feels like it's so hard to, like, smash the eye out of it. It feels like. I don't know, man. Down tilt, because you know what it is? When you do the up throw up air, the timing is so tight that yeah. there's only one time you do the up air. When you get the down tilt, there's so much hit stun that you can go up and time the up air at one of many, many different little, little timings. So. Very difficult to smash the eye. Yeah, really it nice makes case. it so much harder. <laughs> and I gotta say, man, <laughs> this tournament is looking pretty. Unless Armada blows it pretty hard, Hungry I don't, I don't know, miracle. dog. The big problem right now is that rest is not available. The hungry box, like Armada, would have to miss the di and die off the top because right. you know, I mean, oh, oh and that's Armada. it. That is it. Armada taking both events at the Big House Five, singles and doubles. There's a. 
I gotta say a defeated, but a defeated Hungry Bucks, but definitely, uh, geez, definitely, uh, definitely Davis proud of his performance. Put on a show, yeah, yeah. He beat Mango and Mango and Mutual King and took Armada to Game Five, who is, you know, absolutely right now looking like the hottest at the matchup. Yeah. Wow, what a performance from Armada. You know, our winner of EVO this past year and our winner of the Big House Five, two of the biggest tournaments of the year for in fact, sure. In fact, the, the, yeah, the two, two biggest, biggest tournaments, tournaments of all of time. time. What an accomplishment by Armada. Uh, this has been for sure the year of Sweden and you know, Armada and Leffen have both had such amazing performances. Armada looking so solid, so consistent. Winning the tournament from winner's side, not dropping a set. Yes. He defeated uh, Hungrybox twice, Mewtwo King once, in pretty dominant fashion. You know, of course, uh, this past Grand Finals, that was super close. Hungrybox keeping Armada honest, asking him what's up. You really that good? And the answer was yes. The answer was a resounding yes. I don't know. I, I look at Armada sometimes, and I think one thing he definitely brings to the table, I think, I think PB has a little bit of this element too, but I think, like, you know, they... You can always be sure they're going to come back ready. If if, yeah. if anything ever catches them off guard, you know, it's, it's kind of like a fool me once. That sort of situation. Yeah, I know that saying. Fool him once, whatever. Fool this me twice. Keeps it's not, not going to happen. Caller situation's rough, man. I by know, the way, man. by the way, hey, my caller situation, I was going to button the top button. And then, and then, and then, and then, Vish said, if you're not going to wear a tie, you should not button that top button. And Vish, one of the swaggest swag masters in the scene, who always looks pretty on point. I don't know. I, I just take his word for it. I freaked out. He said, do not button that top button if you don't wear a tie. You're not supposed to do that. So I'm like, all right. I, I don't know, man. Please. I don't know. Whatever. Captivating, totally.